a long time ago, back in about mm, 1997 or so, I saw that a game had come out that I didn't really have access to at the time. And that was Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, I've always been a, been a big Castlevania fan. You've seen my reviews all over the place. Here, 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 I don't know. They'll be around here somewhere. And, well, I've always been a fan of this series. It's a great series, and I love the atmosphere that it builds and, and brings. And I've talked countless times about how much I love this series. So when Koji Igarashi, the, I guess you could say the, well, he's the director in most cases, director or co-director or producer. He basically like the showrunner of Castlevania left Konami, mainly because he wasn't being utilized, he wasn't being able to make the games that he wanted. And now he has a chance to. So there's a game that's coming out. It's in very early development, of course, and there's a Kickstarter for it. And if you haven't heard of it, it's called Bloodstained. And of course it's not Castlevania, but it basically is Castlevania. It's Castlevania in everything except name. So uh, I doubt there'll be Dracula, of course there'll be no Belmonts or anything like that, but um, it's got, you know, kind of similar protagonists to Order of Ecclesia. In fact, it really, the whole thing gives me a real Order of Ecclesia vibe. And that was one of my favorite. Uh, Castlevania games, especially portable. Uh, I think it's probably one of my favorite portable Castlevania games of all time, aside from probably Belmont's Revenge for the original Game Boy, and uh, I really liked Harmony of Dissonance as well. Anyways, so the game has quite a bit of money that has come into it, uh, but we're not there yet for a Wii U version. Now, the reason why I'm posting this video is to share with you guys a little bit of information that if you're not keeping up with the Kickstarter, you may not be aware of. So if you're a Nintendo fanboy like me, and, and you know, and, and listen, you only have so much money. So there's some people that can afford to buy multiple systems. They can buy an Xbox, you know, one. They can buy a PS4. They can buy, uh, you know, a, you know, a high-end computer that has Steam and all that stuff. Um, I've always, not, like always went for Nintendo systems and so sometimes you kind of get the raw end of the, uh, you know, raw end of the shaft, that, that's terrible, I phrased it that way, but anyways, sometimes you kind of get screwed over as a Nintendo fan. Um, you know, there's not a lot of AAA titles coming its way, uh, the system is, you know, a lot of people consider it a system that just doesn't have AAA titles aside from everything that uh, Nintendo's putting out. There's some great indie games that are coming out for the Wii U and this is going to be one of them. And while we have a while to wait for it, I, I wanted to share with you guys that they finally posted the stretch goal for this game. And so if you've been holding out like I have, where you're like, oh, I don't want to buy a PS4 and I don't want to buy an Xbox One and I don't want to play the game on my PC, but I want to own the game and you're waiting on a Wii U version, well, you may want to pony up because it's on its way. And they only need about $500,000 more, a little, a little less than that, to be able to make this happen, to get to the three million mark. So if you are a Castlevania fan, if you are a Nintendo fan, if you have a Wii U, and you want to play a game that's getting a physical release, supposedly, they, one of the concerns that I had was that they'll do a digital version of the Wii U version, and they won't give us a physical version. I hope that that's not the case. I've posted on the Facebook page for Bloodstained trying to get some clar clarifying information in regards to that. I'm hoping that we get an answer soon because I want to be able to get a physical version. But to be honest, even if I can get a digital version, I'll go for it. I'll go for the Wii U version. Um, as much as it pains me to say I prefer you know, f uh, physical copies to digital copies, I'd rather get the game on the system of my choice and not so much worry about the physical stuff. But obviously if I can get the physical stuff, you know, get, a, get an actual box and everything and manual instructions and all the Kickstarter goodies, I will seriously pony up some money for that. I can't believe I just said pony up twice in one video. Anyways, you guys should seriously check this out if you are a Wii U owner. This is a game to get excited about. It is down the road, so it's not immediate. But I would definitely recommend donating if you can. So again, this is for all the people, this video is for all the people like me who are Wii U owners and are just like, man, I just want the Wii U version, the stretch goal to come out. Well, it is out. I'm gonna post a picture. And as you can see, they've kind of highlighted, you can't really see it that well, so um, there's another photo, which here it is. 
and it kind of highlights the Wii U logo way down there in the bottom there. So it's, it's highlighted in darkness, you can just barely see it, but it is there. And it's pretty clear that it's a Wii U version. So let's make this happen. Let's join forces and let's get another Koji Igarashi made, you know, Metroidvania. I really hate that term, Metroidvania, uh, just because if you haven't heard, uh, Symphony of the Night and all those games that followed it were actually, they designed it to be more like, uh, they wanted to actually make a Zelda game. And so it's kind of funny that everyone calls it a Metroidvania. Yes, it's very Metroidish, but whatever. I, I'm not a big fan of the term Metroidvania. Um, just because I like to keep my Metroid and my Castlevania separate. Um, but I love the games. I love the, the, the Koji Igarashi di directed and developed games. Um, if you haven't heard, uh, Mishiru Yamane is coming back to do the soundtrack. They're going to have uh, Vert do a couple tracks, 8-bit tracks and stuff like that. So if you, if you keep funding it, um, I think there's some stretch goals right now, some smaller stretch goals that are going to obviously be blown right through. Uh, where you can do, they have 8-bit tracks, there's a classic mode, there's a boss rush mode. I mean, they're really packing this game full. So it's not just a you know, digital you know, game that you get. This is going to be an actual game that is going to be worth the money that you're putting into. And so I personally, if I'm able to get a physical copy, I'm going to donate $100. Because it, I, I think it's worth donating that much money to a game that you get a lot back. And not only that, but you get to see that the game is funded and, and get it so that it's made and you know Koji Igarashi's kind of been through quite a bit um, you know I mean he lost his job at Konami you know he probably didn't get fired or anything I believe he left on his own will but then he ended up working for a company where he's just making mobile games so it's kind of like you know here's this guy who's been you know a developer for you know 15 20 years or whatever and he can't do what he loves and people have been crying out for him to make a game you know in a Castlevania atmosphere and you know sort of very similar, very similarly styled Castlevania game. So now you have your chance. So go fund Bloodstained, and if if you can, you know, throw some money. You know, it doesn't matter how much it is, but if 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 even if you want to just donate some money for it, I think that'd be great. Now I'm not getting paid for this, by the way. I'm not, you know, I'm not affiliated with any of those uh, clans or whatever they have that's going on on the page. So I'm not affiliated with that whatsoever. I'm getting no money from this. Um, no advertising funds or anything. I just wanted to kind of give you guys some information and let you know that if you're like me and you've been waiting for a Wii U version, now is the time to donate. So, enough talk. Get a move on to over to the page. Go to Kickstarter. Find it. Donate. And let's do it.